Good morning, Liberty Warriors. Jeff Riddle one, Jeff Riddle. Go subscribe to all those channels. Liberty Warrior one, Jeff Riddle one, Jeff Riddle. He's got a couple. Uh, and there's a bunch for Liberty as well. And reason being is they keep striking everybody. They're going after us for telling the truth. So uh, today we're doing a little video. We're coming to you from Covington, Louisiana. And this is downtown Covington. That's the old courthouse. Very nice. Show them around, Randy. Show yep. them around. Vasquez restaurant. Right there, old, old staple. Now, Randy, show them yourself. This is my cousin, Randy. He's going to be getting involved. He's getting involved. He's already involved with me in a bunch of stuff that we did. Uh, we got brought down the flat worth the flat earth wormhole uh, <laughs> to what was that how many years yeah ago we that? did a uh we did a show the camera on yourself. we did a show for uh called hunting the flat earth with with a uh a lot of flat earth people and uh we were just exploring their thoughts and everything and that's what happened it was yep. called hunting the flat earth with randy and craig and we even looked into like we were all on board with the fake nasa stuff we already knew about all that and um uh, but we were still looking into it and it, you know it's a lot of crazy things. hey there's our old barber hey, our old hey! Barber. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway downtown covington downtown covington and everybody knows everybody so yeah so then uh so then we explored that and we you know got away from it and a lot of people on the chat are bringing it up and, you know, like I said, a lot of people are at different levels. We weren't fully convinced. Well, here's what we did. We got into the hunt with it. And, you know, the first thing that we had to kind of explore was the moon landings. And uh, tell them how we got involved. Tell them who got us involved. This guy, Mark Hollander, which he's is a... a he's uh, famous. He's a famous flat earther. He's, got, he's, a, he's got a book. Uh, he's a famous flat earther that does a lot of radio shows and... Uh, he got us involved, and we're like, wait, what are you talking about, the Earth's flat? That's when me and Craig started researching this kind of stuff, and um, he got us into it. So, the, basically, your first step with Flat Earthers is finding about the moon landing, which we have already discovered that that's totally fake. Yep. And, and they it's use Lake Pontchartrain. They use our local lake as a big draw for Flat Earthers. To see it. They, they all come from <laughs> all, all over the world to come to Lake Pontchartrain, which is north of New Orleans to give uh, you an idea yeah. of New Orleans, Louisiana, and it's a big lake. And what they're saying is the curvature in the lake, there is curvature and it shows the uh, the curvature of the lake. But um, yeah, we don't. We, we kind of stopped at that because quarantine hit and we... we uh, well, plus, and it was a, you know, they got some, it's a little nutty community, man. You know, you got to, like us, we, you know, there's a little right. nuttiness in there. But Mark is our brother. We grew up with him. We know him. So you take you take what you got, you know. He's always right. going to be our best friend. And, and you know, and I, I told him. Craig, I was talking to Craig this morning. I'm like, Craig, let me tell you something. This dude could actually be right on he all could, of this stuff yes. that he's been talking about. And it's not just that. It's vaccines. It's masks. It's all that kind of Everything. stuff. Everything. I mean, he's been telling us about Illuminati stuff since before the flat Earth. Started. Oh yeah. And as we, a matter of fact, he was writing a book on aliens, and then he got in a car accident, hit his head. And realized that, that, that that's was exactly all, what happened. That was all bullshit. Yeah, right. So, he, uh, he was right, getting ready to write a book on aliens. He said, "Well, forget this. I found flat Earth. I'm going to write about flat Earth." Yep. And that's what he did. So, but uh, so, but look, here's what we're doing. We're keeping our minds open. All of us are at different levels. There's a lot of real stuff we can prove. Maybe I need to roll this. Yeah, I, I think that. Uh, I mean, I haven't really, you know, Craig, to be honest with you, you haven't talked to you in a while but about any of this kind of stuff, but yep. I don't know if we're flat or I, I still think we're at uh, a spinning ball zooming through the well, no, solar we're not system. Spinning. We're not spinning because the stars are in the same spot in the sky every night. They're not, they, it's not like they're... They're know, not changing. They're not yeah. changing. So, so they do have something, something is definitely, yep. something's definitely going on that... You know they're probably not telling us but uh you know i don't know about this ice wall that's holding all of the water in of the world and we're uh living on a flat earth un uses a flat earth map that's an interesting thing and there's a lot of organizations use the flat earth map. why don't we do a show and if you're north, talking about all this stuff this, we can't we're gonna have let's to. let's we're do that because this is this gets way too far yep. and in depth yeah you know but first we want to get 
the, the first things first, no matter what, before we start talking about aliens and all this craziness or whatever, we the election. I know, wait, we may not say the fraudulent event of 2020, known as the big lie. Yeah. That's what we got to get straight first. Yeah, and there's then, so many things to piece this puzzle together. Yeah. You know, um, and the news is lying to us. We've and they, they are. We, we know that. Um, and the vaccines, I mean, it's all just a bunch of, you know? Yeah. And I'm worried about the shedding. Uh, I talked to Jeff Riddle this morning. He said I can go get a uh, borax and you can take a bath with the borax and it'll, it'll help with that, you know, because since my wife had the vaccination and I did and, uh, you know, she had a random nosebleed yesterday. yesterday. That's horrible. Nowhere, like a horrible nosebleed. And she's so, never had one before. Not like that, you know? So, and, yeah. So that, you know, there's just, it's, it's, I don't know if that was the cause, but uh, I'm suspicious. And when you were just mentioning how people that never wanted a vaccine are like all trying to jump on board to go get this. Right. And I want to remind them of, say, like the polio vaccine. There was bad things that happened to people who got the polio. These, look, they've been doing they've been doing this for a long time and giving us these vaccines. You remember our librarian at, in high school who had the small label? Yes. That was from the polio vaccine. Really? Yep. All right, I talked to you. I remember, you know, and that's the whole thing. That's funny how all this stuff in life has been happening, and it's almost like leading to this time. So, you know, I had COVID-19, and uh, yep. I was pretty sick, and it wasn't because of... Uh, it, it wasn't because of anything else except for, you know, that I didn't take care of myself with, uh, you know, with being hydrated was my big thing. Well, and when you, were you when talking, you're, yeah, you were talking with the with the, with the guy who was running for mayor and he had COVID, so right? You know, <laughs> and basically get, kissing. Exactly, and that's how I caught it. Yeah. So, uh, you know, but me being home alone, taking care of myself, and you know, when you when you get dehydrated. And you got 102 fever for 13 days or whatever, how long it lasted. Yeah. And I, I, was, I, I was no help. I didn't want to be near you. I was I know. worried. You know? Everybody was worried at I that time. I brought you medicine, though. I did bring you stuff and I left but it outside. The biggest problem was me because I would drink maybe two or three bottles of water a day. And you have 102 fever, you, you're supposed to drink you know, probably 16 bottles of water and electrolytes and Gatorades and all this stuff. Hydrate, hydrate. So that's why people are getting into the hospital is what I think is because they're, they're, they didn't take care of themselves. And, and if you ask doctors right now, it's not as big. Yes, or, we, we just talked to a doctor, a good customer of ours. Yep, and he said that the hospital wasn't even full. They weren't even full. And even during the stuff, most of the stuff, he was able to send them home with a treatment. So... You know, and, and he's talking about very elderly patients, and this is a hospital that's in, you know, in Hampton. But anyway, we got to get back to work, y'all. Yes. Love y'all. Um, remember to- Good meeting you guys. The Lord is going to be with us. Keep God in this. God is the only thing that's going to get us through this. All right. Love y'all. Amen. Amen.